What up, everybody? It's your boy, Asigiti Sauce, and I'm back for an extraordinarily special review today. I probably wouldn't even be doing reviews today if it wasn't for this chip. I've been very, very excited to review it for you guys. Uh, it just took a while to come in the mail. You have to special order this stuff. You can't get it in any supermarket, etc. You know what I mean? Now, what I'm reviewing today is a potato chip. Growing up, I've always loved potato chips. Always seeking my favorite potato chip of all time, always seeking exotic flavors, all different types of preparations, whether it's wavy, kettle cook, lattice cook, you know, the whole fucking spectrum I needed. <coughs> Sorry, I had to throw in a dolphin call. But um, this chip today that I'm gonna review is ridiculous and I owe it all to my boy Jason Lake around Brooklyn, Vietnam, originally from Cincinnati, Ohio. This is where these chips come from. Really quick backstory on how I first discovered this and how it changed my life forever. I used to work at Packer Shoes back in the day and I used to work with Jason, that's how I met him. He has a real Cincy accent, you know what I mean? Um, but he lives in Brooklyn, he's got uh, two beautiful kids, wonderful wife and uh, I used to work with him. And he came in one day and he had a Ziploc bag. <clears throat> now, if you know what these are, You'll understand they come in different types of bags. Well, one of the bags is a twin pack, which is very strange. It's a big, I forget how many ounces. It's a big, it's a big chip bag, like your normal chip bag. But inside, there's like two sealed Pringle style, like little cylinder type bags. Two of them inside one bag, which is ridiculous. I don't understand if you want to keep most of them fresh and the other one's not. Whatever. But anyway, it comes in a twin pack. So he had a twin pack, I think, I believe, in his house. And he just emptied some of it out into a fucking Ziploc. And he brought it in. And, and, and he showed me the Ziploc and for lunch. And he's chewing. What the fuck is that? And these are the fucking Grippos, he tells me. With the fucking brick dust. Now, once I show you these, you'll understand what I'm talking about brick dust. I guess that's a Cincy thing. I don't know if it was a Jason thing. He could clarify that for, uh, for us at a later date. But, um... It's a barbecue potato chip. The company's called the Grippo's Potato Chips, all right? And they make different flavors, but their main flavor is Grippo's Barbecue Potato Chips. And these things look like they got brick dust all over them. You know, when you eat chips, not only is the chip to bag space ratio important, but the most important is how it's seasoned. Sometimes you'll get a bag of Cooler Ranch and it'll be fucking coated in green and red speckles and then the other, the, other, the other bag you get is fucking plain Jane. No, not this stuff. This stuff is fucking... It's like some fucking... Somebody fucking tossed them for fucking six hours before they serve them to you. Now listen. This is my favorite potato chip of all time. I am not fucking joking. And if it wasn't for Jason Lakers showing me this, I wouldn't be here today not only doing this review for my YouTube page, but I wouldn't be doing reviews, period. And I'd be probably eating some fucking corny Lay's still. This, listen guys. I never steer you wrong. This is the greatest fucking potato chip. Listen, after you watch this video, you're gonna go on the fucking website, grippopotatochips.com, and you're gonna fucking put it in your mouth. You're gonna buy it, you're gonna charge, you're gonna swipe, you're gonna slice and dice, and you're gonna fucking get this potato chip. And then you're gonna put it in your fucking mouth. You're gonna put it on, you're gonna smear it on your fucking taste buds all over your fucking palate, and I promise you, you're gonna hit me up, whether it's a DM, whether it's a fucking email, whether it's a comment, whether you see me on the fucking street, <coughs> down the fucking, you know what I mean, down the way. And I'm telling you right now, you are going to absolutely give me a hug. You're gonna love this chip and you're gonna thank me. But I also want you to thank Jason because if he would've never showed me these, we wouldn't be here today because literally, I have never seen them anywhere. They are only exclusively available from Cincinnati, Ohio, unless you order them online like I do. And I just got a case, just got them. Look at these, look at the, look at the box. Now they come in different sizes. Oh, might I add, my favorite, my favorite part, my favorite part of this is all the Grippos bags, the Grippos barbecue ones, uh, rather, they're all foil bags. Oh, what, what, look at this. My God, I'll leave up a clearer picture up above, but look at this fucking bag. This is everything Utz wants to be. UTZ Utz. Listen, I like their chips, but they ain't fucking touching Grippos. I mean, I mean, look at this. Look at the fucking guy. Look at the foil bag. 
I mean, look at the branding. I mean, this is everything you want in a potato chip bag. Now, this is the 4.5 4 ounce bag. They have a couple of different ounces you can buy, and they have that weird twin pack that I was describing. But uh, this is it right here. I ordered a case of 18 4.5 ounce bags. So they're pretty, they're pretty big. You can see how they size up to my upper torso. Um, beautiful red foil, you know. Oh, these are just great. The branding, now, if you look at these at quick glance, they're gonna remind you of them garbage kettle cooked Zaps chips that you find in Wawa. Those are fucking basura. I tried the Voodoo one, garbage. I'm telling you right now, this is what you need right here. Now, I'm gonna try to show you what they look like. I have a smaller bag here. This is the one I'm gonna open right now. I'm telling you right now. Now, they're not too generous. Look at the ratio. Eh, it's not so good. You know, you, you want to go right here. You want a bag to be filled three-fourths. But 80, 90% of the chip industry doesn't do that. So it's okay. They get, a, they get a pass for that. The fact that it's exclusive and only available in Cincinnati is what makes me strive for more. As you know, I love rare items. But this is the uh, this is the smaller bag, the 2.75 ounce. The ratio is I, you know what I mean? But it doesn't fucking matter. The chips are so damn good. Oh, the smell. Let me see if you, you can't see. I'll probably throw another picture up right there for you. There is nothing negative I could say about these chips. Oh, look at the fucking brick dust on there. Jesus Christ. Now, as far as the actual chip goes, it's not the sturdiest chip. It's thin, but it's got a really, really, really good fry on it. Oh. See, what makes this chip so special is that it's not your regular barbecue potato chip. It's got the right amount of sweetness to it. A lot of barbecue chips don't have that correct sweetness to it. They have, they have, a, they have a tang, you know, they have a spiciness, but the sweetness, they never get it right. The grippos, they fucking get it right. Oh my God. I mean, when you tilt it at an angle in a certain light, you could see the speckles bouncing off the fucking glass shards of sugar, the tukra. Oh. Every single time I take a fucking bite of these, I just can't do it. I mean, look at the guy. He's fucking happy on the back. You unbelievable, huh? Listen, boom, as soon as it hits your mouth, the amount of flavor that just immediately fucking spikes your central nervous system, it's unreal. Right away you get the sugar, right away, a little bit, but then you get that, that little tang starts, starts hovering over, the, it's the sugar right here, the tang starts hovering over, gives it a light, light glaze. And then as you're chewing, as you're chewing, as you're chewing, oh, then you taste that barbecue seasoning. You, you taste it, oh, hold on. Oh, then the spiciness just comes. And then spanks everything. It just sits there and it fucks your head. I can't, I can't even talk, I can't even do a proper review. Listen, Grippo's barbecue potato chips. Live and die right from Cincinnati, Ohio. I mean, look at this. It's got, it's got seasoning smothered all over the shit. Like, you're not going to eat a chip, and it's, it's, it's not going to be bland. I mean, this thing has seasoning speckled all throughout it. Oh, my God. I'm telling you right now. I, I'm so excited to tell you and share with you my love for this chip that I can't possibly describe it properly. You just have to go out and do it yourself. I'll drop a link below. Grippo's. PotatoChips.com, and you're gonna thank you're gonna thank me later. You're gonna give me a hug. You're gonna try to fuck me when you see me. You're gonna try to put it in my cornhole. I'm not gonna let you. But you're gonna try to open up that balloon now and just fill it with love. I'm not gonna let you. Now look at this. Look at this. I just keep grabbing them, and they're coated in seasoning. Now, what I was getting at before, there's only one negative thing that I can say about this chip. And, I, and it doesn't even matter because all the pros outweigh this con so much. I mean, I told you, the branding is great. It's classic. Love the caricature. Love the little fire emblem. <clears throat> Love the foil bag. Ratio's okay. 
But the most negative thing about it is the chips are a little fragile. They're not as solid as a kettle, but even though they're thin, like a Lay's, they don't hold up as well. So a lot of the times you get them and, and a lot of them are broken into pieces. But it's not a bad thing though, because when you crunch on them, there's, there's something very welcoming about the way the chip crumbles over your canine and your molars. I just, I can't describe it. It's got a softness to it, but it's not soft. Listen guys, you just gotta try it for yourself. Grippo's potato chips, barbecue flavor. Thank you, Jason Laker. You guys are gonna thank me later. Um, you just gotta go get them. I mean, there's really no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is the whole reason why I do potato chip reviews, or reviews in general. This is what started it all. This has been my favorite potato chip of all time, generally because I like barbecue flavored stuff more. But in my opinion, when it comes to flavor profile, classic design, consistency, because every fucking bag is filled and covered with the shit. Every, every bag tastes the same. You're not getting one bag and you're throwing them left out. They take care in that factory. They sit there and don't get it twisted. You think their other chips are whack too? No, 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 no. I got a variety pack in there that I'll do a review of next. They got these fucking cheese nibs. They're like, they're like Cheetos, like the puffed cheese doodles. It's like you took them and you rolled them into fucking brick dust. And let me tell you something. When you bite into that motherfucker, you know, I'll save that for the next review. Okay. Ripple potato chips. Thank me later. And I'm not drinking Spindrift today. I'm drinking the San Pellegrino Momenti. It's a pomegranate and a black currant. And I gotta tell you, I think this blue, I don't know, this might blow Spindrift out of the water for me right now. And I love Spindrift, as you know. But they want to fuck around and give me a, uh, a sponsorship. I'm going to have to go with the San Pellegrino. Until next time, mortadella.